Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at one of the strongest builds in New World. This build revolves all around the hammer and the great axe. You can actually see here I'm going heavy on the hammer and great axe, and heavy really is not in a great spot right now, but you can see the amount of damage that you're able to do there, critting with a 2400 on the mighty gavel. This is one of the strongest builds, like I said, in New World right now. You're able to take a ton and ton of damage, definitely with a healer as well, but you're seeing how many kills I'm getting in just one round of going through and just smoking people with this hammer great X build. I'll walk you through a few clips, but then I'm going to jump into the build, talk a little bit about the perks, the gear, the attributes, the gear uh, kind of setup that you're going to run with skills as well, and kind of what you're going to try to do in PvP arenas and outpost rush altogether. So you can see the damage that we're doing is really pretty pretty amazing with going full on heavy, going pretty much full con as well. You're going to be able to output a lot of damage and the biggest part of this build is CC. So here you can see Shockwave, which is going to do rend if you do have that perk. We're going to talk about perks like I said later, uh, but this build is really, really strong because you have the charge on the Great Axe. It's not a big deal that you're missing some of the move speed that you typically get going light or medium armor. You can see also I'm able to 1v2 here in this situation because of the amazing amount of CC and I'm also able to do a lot of damage as well and back them up continuing CC on heavy uh, or not heavy but on healers is absolutely massive in the current meta so this is a build that I do see coming back in full throttle and a lot more people running in the very near future you can see a couple of these kills so here we have a healer we're going to be focused in on him we're going to get a few light attacks down we're going to get a charge we're right back on top of him he can't get away we're going to throw the mighty gavel down and finish him off we have one more clip here, just a 1v1 in the ring of fire here at the end of this PvP arena. We're getting a couple good great axe swings in. He does get a repost on me, but you can see here a nice shockwave and a nice auto attack to finish him off. But I do want to jump into, like I said, those perks and some of the different attributes and things that we're running with this build. So the first thing that's really, really important to go to is the attributes. So 300 strength is going to be a necessity. It's going to give us that damage. Obviously, both of these weapons scale hammer and great axe off of strength. So that's exactly what we're going to do. The constitution is also going to be where all of our leftovers after 300 strength go into. You're going to want this to be at least at 160. I have a really, really bad build right now. I just kind of put this together to test out how strong this uh, this build really was. And I was winning games and arena matches with the Great Axe and Hammer with having just 158 con. But you want 160 specifically for one reason and one reason only. It's so that when you pop your con food in arena, you're going to be able to get that 10% increase to physical and elemental armor, which is going to be a massive, massive, uh, really kind of bonus for any player using this build. Another thing to notice is how bad I have a setup here because we have 26.1 heavy as my current equip load. So I'm taking heavy, but I'm not even fully benefiting because I have, what is this, medium headwear. I have a light glove, and I believe I even have a medium, what else do I have? Do I have anything else medium? No, just the medium headwear and then the light glove. So might as well be throwing on you know, heavy everything, but for this build, I didn't change anything up. I went very basic so you guys could understand that you can do this even if you don't have the best gear. You know, I don't want to be one of those guides that tell you, hey, get this, 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 and this, and obviously nobody can afford best in slot everything all the time. But I will tell you some of the best in slot perks in case you guys can get that best gear for this build. But I just wanted to make sure you guys understand, like I said, 300 strength, 160 con is going to be very, very important so that when you pop your roasted rabbit with seasoned vegetables, you're going to get to over 200 constitution. I also want to talk a little bit about why I went heavy. So I went heavy because I love the idea of my crowd control buffs applying 20% longer and that reduced healing is not a big deal to me because typically I don't play with healers. Also, if you don't really care about that crowd control boost that you're kind of getting with heavy, you can always go medium, you can always go light, do whatever you want. It's going to work very, very well. Just make sure if you're light, be around 12.9 on the weight, and then 22.9 is going to be your lowest on the medium. Medium is going to be, of course, it's going to be light uh, head, medium, chest, light, everything else. It's going to be a great way to run that 22.9 in a very, very nice way at doing it. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about the skills as well, because this is going to be something that a lot of people have different thoughts and opinions on. So let's go over to the weapon mastery. So weapon mastery, I kind of struggled a little bit on what to go exactly on the great sword or not the great sword. Sorry, I'm excited for the great sword, but this is the great X. I'm excited because 
you know, there's a lot of different options on the great sword, and there's also a lot of different options on the great axe. So you can see here, Maelstrom is something a lot of people go, and there's reasons to go. It continues to provide that CC, but because I had Hammer, I really wanted to take Charge. Charge is going to be huge for me to stay on top of people while going heavy armor. And this is just because I had lack of uh, better gear, and I wanted to show you guys what you can do with that lack of better gear when it comes to strength con builds, because realistically, I'm typically an intelligence player. I pretty much go Fire Staff Rapier or Fire Staff uh, Ice Gauntlet or Rapier Ice Gauntlet or Void Gauntlet. But, you know, now that I'm moving into the Strength Con builds, there's so many Strength Con builds that are really, really strong. And I think this one could be the best because you're going to go charge to stay on top of people even when you have heavy armor. You're going to be going execute just in case they're CC'd. If you have a couple hammers on your team, this is something that can happen very, very often, and your mighty gavel may be down from previous use. This is going to apply a lot of damage, definitely to blow 50% health foes. And if they're stunned, it's going to be basically an execute that really, really works well. Um, I'm not going to go over too many of these passives, but they're pretty obvious as to why you want them if you go and hover over them. But, uh, you know, you can see and pause the view right now if you want to take your time and read through all of them. But you have Gravity Well as an obvious choice. Uh, you also want the, like I said, Execute and Charge as well. You can always take Execute out for Maelstrom if your team needs more CC and you don't really need that damage. Uh, but I want to go over to Hammer as well. This is going to be one that a lot of people may kind of disagree with as well, but I love the idea of going Shockwave and Path of Destiny. Path of Destiny is just going to basically be that thing that makes them use all of their stamina so that they're easy targets for your Shockwave. At this point, if you are on top of them from your Charge Great Axe and you use your Path of Destiny to take all of their stamina, away, you're going to shockwave them. And then you're going to throw down that mighty gavel if they're above 50% health. And if they're below 50% health, you like you said, you're going to switch over to the great axe and throw down the execute for 300% weapon damage to foes, like I said, below that 50% health threshold. So huge, huge damage from both of these weapons. And the biggest thing, you're getting mobility, you're getting CC, you're getting damage. It's one of the builds that I really, really like right now. And this is exactly why. So if we take a look at some of the best perks regarding this build, it's definitely going to come down to Insatiable Gravity Well, which basically gains 51% of your damage with Gravity Well back as health and casts another 4 meter radius burst around you on successful hit that deals 100% weapon damage. That's going to be one of the best for the Great Axe and Shockwave is going to have its own perk that I actually don't have right now on my current weapon, so I just looked it up in the shop. Here you're gonna be able to see the Sundering Shockwave, inflicting rend, reducing targets damage absorption for 14, uh, sorry, 14% for 10 seconds. It's a huge, huge bonus for all of your teammates to do more damage as well as yourself. Also, a big, big part of this build comes down to gems. If you're gonna to continue to do a lot of CC and if you have other teammates that are doing CC, I would suggest Cruel. Curl is going to be a really, really strong gem to put in your weapons. It gives you plus 12% damage against targets with an active crowd control status effect. That can be slows, stuns, and roots. So in my gear, I typically like to go Elemental Ward 4s. They give you 2.5% elemental damage absorption. They're really, really good against the current meta of Ice Gauntlets, Void Staffs, or not Void Staffs, Fire Staffs, and Void Gauntlets. As Flamethrower is huge right now as well with the Fire Staff, this is going to help quite a bit on those different kinds of damage. And I haven't lost much against Bows or Rapiers or any Dex really users, so this is why I've been going for that elemental ward instead of opting in for physical resistance like you see here in my glove uh if you are losing to a certain kind of player a lot you know whether it's mages or bow players or just tanky guys you're going to want to figure that out and go those specific gems to help you against those specific players. But this is going to be the current build that I've been loving to run that has been doing absolutely insanely well in arena so thanks again guys for tuning in if you guys have anything you want to add to this build or if i missed anything let me know down in the comment section below i'll try to walk you through what else you can do with this build it's one of the most fun builds in my opinion just throwing down the hammer and throwing down tons of damage while still being a tanky guy it's very very fun and one thing to kind of note as well guys is this armor i'm currently wearing is all from the pvp track so that is crazy enough and that's kind of why i wore them uh, not because they're really, really good, but because they're from that PvP track. And let's be real, they're actually really, really good as well. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.